Mont Saint-Michel is a tidal island and mainland commune in Normandy, France. The island lies approximately one kilometer off France's northwestern coast, at the mouth of the Quinone River near Avranches. A thousand years of history, reflected in details, make visiting the Mont Saint-Michel unforgettable. That is why Mont Saint-Michel is one of the most popular touristic destinations in France. Mont Saint-Michel annually hosts nearly 3 million visitor pilgrims and tourists. The access organized really well to avoid crowd, large segmented parking, visitors center, shuttle bus or 40 minutes walking to the ticket office and entrance. Once entering the gate, the movement is possible in one way only, for coming up, straight to the abbey entrance, and for going down, through the shops. There are some interesting facts about Mont Saint-Michel. The total surface of the commune is 400 hectares, 990 acres. The mount has a circumference of about 960 meters and its highest point is 92 meter above sea level. Despite hundreds of years of war over the Channel Sea, the abbey has never been invaded. Its location, surrounded by water with double-ended ramparts, made it difficult for attackers to penetrate. It was once a prison. Under Napoleon I, the abbey closed in 1791 and was converted into a prison, mostly holding clerical opponents of the Republican regime. The site was nicknamed Bastille des Meurs, meaning Bastille of the Sea, holding as many as 300 priests at one point. It remained a prison until 1863, when high-profile political prisoners, including Victor Hugo, campaigned for the restoration of the historical national treasure. It has a, nearly, identical twin in the United Kingdom. By the time of the Norman conquest in 1066, a small island with a hilltop monster off the coast of Penzance had come into the possession of the Benedictine Abbey of Mont Saint-Michel. The monastery gave its support to William the Conqueror in his claim to the throne of England and rewarded him with the island. Both mounts share the same conical shape and tidal characteristics, though St. Michael's Mount is smaller. It has inspired many movie castles. The iconic castle of the animated movie Tangled was inspired by the Mont Saint Michel. It was also the inspiration behind Minas Tirith, the capital city of Gondor in Lord of the Rings. It has the highest tides in Europe. The tides on the island can reach a prickly height of 46 feet and incoming tides can race in at the speed of a galloping horse. Each month, the tides at Mont St. Michel become extreme and sometimes dangerous. There can be a difference of 15 meters, 50 feet, between low and high tide. On a few of days every year, the tides change so quickly that the surrounding sand becomes unstable. That turns it into quicksand.
Mont Saint Michel has always been a popular pilgrimage site. During the Middle Ages, it was second only to the Santiago de Compostela in Spain. The first pilgrims visited in the 11th century. Mont Saint Michel and its surrounding bay were inscribed on the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites in 1979 for its unique aesthetic and importance as a Catholic site. The founder of the Mont Saint Michel was Aubert Bishop of Avranches, who lived in Avranches at about 695 to 720. The legend tells us that in 708 the Archangel Michael appeared to the Bishop Aubert three times in dream. Archangel Michael asked Aubert to build a sanctuary in his honor on an island called Mont Tomba. The abbey in a garden looks quite typical if to forget that it is on about 92 meters above the sea level. Walking along the cloister we approached arched glass windows, which allow stunning views and making this cozy and bright spot really cute. And here is how triple arched glassed windows are looking from lower gardens. The Mont Saint Michel Abbey is divided in two parts, the Church Abbey and the so-called Merve. The Merve was the monk living area. The dining hall was built from 1211 to 1218 along with the chaplaincy and the host's room. This is the guest hall in the Abbey. It was designed for receiving royalty and nobility. The treadmill was operated by prisoners after 1793, when the abbey was turned into a prison. Very light and warm hall, it was scriptorium and library. The Church of Saint-Pierre, La Mont Saint-Michel is good place to think about all what is important, about the spiritual aura surrounding this island. And one more glance to miracle building complex and long mysterious history.